Well, despite the class of uh, 2021's uh, improvement and higher pass rate compared to the previous year, there are still concerns that the numbers are not adding up. Pupils are not faring too well in one of the most vital subjects, mathematics, which is a gateway subject for higher education and uh, many career options. Only 5.3% of 600,000 candidates who wrote matric in 2020 scored 60% or more for maths. This means that only 125,000 uh, pupils managed to reach or surpass the required pass rate of 30%. Well, founder of You Can Do Maths Online tutoring platform, Gerda van der Meeve, joining us now to discuss these concerns, as well, of course, the importance of this subject. Gerda, good afternoon. Thank you very much for your time. I, I guess uh, you, as somebody who is really uh, a, a staunch uh, supporter of mathematics with your You Can Do Maths program, you must be feeling a little bit disappointed about what the metric of 2021 results show us in terms of the maths performance. Good afternoon, Dan. Um, yes, absolutely. We support anyone, all pupils who want to do and um, excel math. And we really uh, would like to see a much better improvement. I just want to say that the maths uh, result did improve by about 4% from 2020 to 21. And um, that's a, a move in the right direction, but there's a lot, much more room for improvement. Yeah, but, but what, when you look at the numbers this time around, I mean, where, where they are sitting, although there is progress, you say there is much room for improvement. What needs to change? Because it's not the first time we've said this. I mean, everybody talks about the importance of, of both numeracy and literacy, particularly mathematics, especially in this fast digitizing world we live in today. Absolutely. Maths is undoubtedly one of the most important subjects. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but uh, we believe with the right attitude and hard work, most learners in South Africa can pass school mathematics. And yes, it is a, a, a gateway subject. It's needed in so many um, career directions. And uh, you need to do well and not just pass by, with 30%. You need to pass with a decent pass rate to, get, to get, really get somewhere. Yeah, and if you want to go into tertiary education, I mean, some courses at varsity and colleges and stuff require a, a good uh, pass rate, a pass mark, let me say, uh, for mathematics. Why, yeah, why, in your view, what are you finding, Herda? Why are people struggling with mathematics? Well, one of the biggest reasons is why anyone struggle with anything in life is because they can't do it, they don't like it. And the reason for that is because mathematics is a subject which builds on previous knowledge. So you need to know grade six work to carry on or to do well in grade seven and so on. And that's where, where most problems uh, happen for learners. They don't know their basics. They have gaps. And once there's a gap, every year it gets bigger. It's like a snowball. And then you like start to struggle. You give up. You feel hopeless. And yes, the, and I, I can't blame them. So yeah, that is the biggest thing. And, and I think a lot of learners also don't realize that mathematics is not a subject which, um, which you can just study before an exam or a test. It's hard work. It's definitely a, 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 the subject at school where you probably will have to work the hardest. And uh, yeah, that is, that's one of the biggest reasons why they struggle. Uh, where is the system failing the pupils mathematically? It is, um, it's hard to just put, pinpoint it to one reason. But one of the biggest reasons is um, we have huge classes, some schools, Math is a subject which you preferably should study at your own pace. You should be able to do when you are ready, go on to the next topic. And obviously that is not possible in, in, in school, most school situations, especially in South Africa. So um, if, and that is just, yeah. So you need to learn at your own pace, ideally. And at big schools, big groups, a lot of learners struggle to keep up and to, you know, they, they, they get lost in the, in the big groups. 
Yeah, so the size counts. But the foundational phase, therefore, would be important because you said maths, unlike other subjects, you can't just study it quickly before you write an exam. You build on from one grade to the next, to the next, uh, uh, to the next. So the foundation, I guess, mathematically as a country, if we want to do well, uh, uh, we need to start right from grade R or grade 1, something like that, and build from there. Yes, absolutely. The department is doing quite a lot of making a big effort to get the foundation phase right, which is fantastic. Um, you also, when you start with the senior phase, which starts in grades 7, 8 and 9, that is what, three of your most important years for mathematics, because that's when you start to do the more abstract side of it. You start talking about X's and um, algebra, which Will, which will give you a good mark in grade 9 and that is what you need to carry on with it in grade 10 and to do well in grade 10, 11 and 12. Yeah, following the announcement of the results, I've seen some uh, headlines saying that mathematics in a crisis in South Africa after the matrix 2021 results. Are we overstating the importance of mathematics? No, not, not at all, because with the fourth industrial revolution with us, it is just going to become more and more important. Um, there are definitely career options where you do not need mathematics, for sure. But um, it is an important subject, it's something we use every day in our everyday life, and we need to have knowledge of it, and it's, it is important, and it's going to become more important. Yeah. Should we consider teaching maths in African languages, not just in English? Well, studying in your home language is by far the best way to study it. I'm, uh, all I can say is if I had to study maths in a language which is not my home language, I would have had a big problem with it. So, um, yes, uh, I believe they have tried it in uh, the Eastern Cape. So, yeah, maybe that's the way to go. Absolutely.